Idris Elba is one of the most in-demand actors in Hollywood. He was named the sexiest man alive in 2018 and has women constantly drooling all over him. Though he has had his fair share of women, he was labeled one of the world's most eligible bachelors for many years. Many were convinced he would never settle down and would remain a ladies' man due to his track record. His relationships always seemed to fizzle out. Despite his roller coaster dating history, he never gave up on finding the woman of his dreams. Here's the truth about Idris Elba's journey to finding love. After an on-again, off-again relationship with fellow London native and makeup artist Kim Norgard, they decided to get married in 1999. He liked the idea of being married and told GQ magazine, I was focused in on what I was trying to do in my life and my girl supported me. To make ends meet, he traveled back and forth between New York and London looking for work. I didn't get to America and suddenly it was gravy. In fact, I got to America and didn't work for four years. And, and partly it's because my accent was terrible. Really? <laughs> yeah. So I practiced every day. Like, I lived in Brooklyn and Manhattan, and I just walk around with an American accent the whole time. This caused some stress in their marriage. They had to move around a lot, and Idris told GQ his wife didn't adjust to American culture as quickly as he did. When they decided to break up, Kim was already pregnant. She gave birth to their daughter, Isan, in 2002. People magazine revealed their divorce was finalized in 2003. Years later, Isan revealed to People magazine that her mom had been diagnosed with bipolar depression and chronic anxiety. Although it's unclear whether Idris provided his ex with a shoulder to lean on, they seem to be very cordial. According to Express website, they even celebrated Isan's 16th birthday together. Idris was back on the market and moved on with a pole dancer named Desiree Newberry. They decided to move in together, and she became pregnant with a baby boy. According to his interview with GQ magazine, when Desiree gave birth to the little boy, it was one of the happiest moments of his life. He shared the news with friends and reporters, but something wasn't sitting right with him. Idris noticed the baby didn't look like him at all. According to GQ, he decided to take a paternity test and found out he wasn't the father of the baby. He opened up about his heartbreak by telling the magazine, to be given that and then have it taken away so harshly was like taking a full-on punch in the face. In 2006, Idris was ready for love again. A mutual friend introduced him to lawyer Sonia Hamlin, and she told the Daily Mail they had, quote, pure chemistry. According to Sonia, they hit it off and fell in love right away. Their romance turned into a fast-paced relationship, and they started shacking up together in Maryland. During an April 2006 trip to Las Vegas to watch Floyd Mayweather fight, Idris convinced Sonia to get married. They had only been dating for a few months at that point, but Sonia was ready. She said, we were both madly in love by then, and we were like, let's just do it. The next day, they headed off to the Little White Wedding Chapel to seal the deal. The only guest at their ceremony was a man they convinced to be their witness. Afterward, they called their parents and told them the good news before jetting off to Jamaica for their honeymoon. Then it was time for them to head back to their everyday lives. Things began to unravel quickly. Hollywood came knocking for Idris, and Sonia wanted to remain at her Maryland law practice. Sonia also believed Idris was being pressured to have a younger, more attractive woman on his arm as his career gained momentum. So just six weeks after getting married, he decided to call it quits. In the summer of 2013, he met Nayana Garth. According to the LA Times, they went public in November that same year. And just five months after confirming their relationship status, Nayana gave birth to their son, Winston. Idris's career was finally taking off after landing roles in the film Mandela and the TV show Luther. But his relationship was in shambles. Things got really messy in 2016 when he was spotted leaving a New York nightclub with supermodel Naomi Campbell. Naomi denied that there was anything romantic between them. But days after their outing, The Sun reported Idris had moved out of the Southwest London home he shared with Nayana. So what was the cause of their breakup? 
the rumor mill suggested Naomi wasn't the side chick after all. Instead, it was reported that Idris was allegedly cheating with Love & Hip Hop Atlanta star Kay Michelle. Kay Michelle went on The Wendy Williams Show and said she met the actor at the Soul Train Awards in 2013. They then proceeded to have an eight-month-long relationship. Kay admitted they were seeing each other when his son Winston was a newborn, but she said she didn't know he was still involved with Nyana. Kay added, So I kind of looked up and saw that I was the side chick. After two failed marriages, Idris told Essence magazine he didn't think he'd ever get married again. He said, Marriage is an institution of sorts, and I've done it. It's not for everybody. It's not my life's calling. Maybe he would never walk down the aisle again, but that didn't mean he wasn't going to enjoy the company of beautiful women. He told People magazine he loved women who were honest and confident and soon enough, he was going to find just what he was looking for. While filming the movie The Mountain Between Us in Vancouver, he headed out to a party on his day off. That's when he met model and former Miss Vancouver, Sabrina. Idris told the ladies of The View that it was, quote, love at first sight. He and Sabrina made their first public appearance in September 2017 at the Toronto International Film Festival. A source told The Sun he usually likes to keep that side of his life private, but he's proud to show Sabrina off on his arm. Idris knew in his heart that Sabrina was the one. After about a year of dating, he was ready to propose to his beauty queen. He settled on Valentine's Day 2018, but that day didn't work out with his schedule. Moving on to Plan B, he decided to pop the question in London at the February 9th screening of his movie, Yardy. In April 2019, they got married at a hotel in Marrakesh, Morocco. Sabrina explained to Vogue they chose that location because her family is from East Africa and his family is from West Africa. She said, so we thought it would be fun to meet somewhere in between. It was a three-day event filled with family, friends, and loved ones. On the first day, guests enjoyed belly dancers, acrobats, and fire eaters. The second day was the wedding ceremony, the final day of festivities ended with fireworks. Sabrina told British Vogue she wanted their guests to, quote, leave remembering the importance of love. Idris can't stop gushing about his new bride. He told People magazine they have good chemistry. It also helps that Sabrina makes him laugh and they share common goals. He added, she makes me celebrate my successes, and when I'm not too sure about stuff, she makes me think. Since they've been inseparable since the day they met, we aren't surprised they've launched a lifestyle brand together called Sable Labs. Daily Mail reports their first project will be a podcast called Coupledom, where the Elbas will answer in-depth questions about their relationship. After all the ups and downs and failed relationships, Idris told the host at The View he's finally at peace. He said, I'm actually the happiest I've been in a long time. Let us know your thoughts on Idris and Sabrina's love story. And thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.